So we sell a lot of Land Rover products, whether that's Range Rover Sports, large Range Rovers, Defenders, but the Discovery is always popular, especially when you get a seven seat one like this and one's got low miles and a good spec. This is a D300 R Dynamic SE. It's got some options on it as well. It's got the sliding roof wireless charger and the color works very well with it being the dynamic. You've got the black badges, the black grill, but Iger Grey is a very nice color. You've obviously got the sliding roof, which is a big one, but the seven seats, to get a seven seater that looks good and has the power of this one with it being the D300, it's just a great all round car. 73 plate and 11,000 miles. You've got warranty well into 2026, so for peace of mind and at 11,000 miles, it hasn't been very far at all. Great style to the front, you've obviously got the swooping LEDs and when you see them up close, they have like a honeycomb effect which ties in nice with the grill. You've got the wheels on the side of it as well, which I like on this because it ties in again with the Iger Grey. So you've got contrasting wheel arches, dark shadow on the wheel, but then you've got that chrome edge as well. A very, very good looking wheel, 21 inch as well, so it fills the wheel arch nice. Fixed side steps. Again, to talk about practicality, if you are looking at one of these cars because you have children or a large family, the side steps do come in handy. The interior is very, very nice. I say this on a lot of previous videos, but that ebony and ivory contrast, I think, works very well, no matter what colour the car is, but it does work specifically well with this Iger Grey. You've obviously got the contrast roof and then that sliding roof as well. Let's in a lot of air, but a lot of light at the same time. When you get to the back, obviously, you've got what you'd expect. Power tailgate, split level, boot opening as well. Seven seat option. Now, a lot of people, I have a seven seat. I don't really use seven seats every time. So if you want to put that seat down, you can do use it as a six seater if you want both down and you've got a huge boot space. There's even a place for your parcel shelf. Adaptive air suspension. So again, if you wanted to load that with suitcases, luggage, even animals, if you've got dogs, etc., that are a little bit old and they need a hand getting in, you can do that, no problem. And you can also move that middle row as well electronically, which is a good touch. Plenty of space in the back, so if you do just want to use this as a five-seater, but you have the occasional six uh, extra passenger, then you've still got plenty of space as a five-seater. Dynamic SE gives you a lot of features as standard, but again, for me, the colour combo is what works best in this. So you've got the lighter on the door card, but then on the seat, you've got the mixture on the outside bolster. So instead of it just being one solid colour, you've got a nice contrast as well. Meridian sound system, you've got that nice or huge touchscreen display in the centre as well. So I'll show you that and that pretty much contains everything on these. So electric seats, which you would expect, but those seats are also heated. You've got memory function as well. So if this is gonna be your main family car, you're not arguing about who's driven it and who's moved the seat out of the way. Steering wheel, plenty of options. So lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, voice control, that's all on there as well. Exact miles is 11684, digital display in front of you. Down here, to be fair, it pretty much just controls everything from the main screen other than your aircon and heated seats. So heated seats work from there, your aircon as well. But if I pop it into reverse, you've got rear view, aerial view, 3D, there's even an off-road camera. So there's everything to physically help you drive a car that maybe if you haven't drove a car this big before. The roof is obviously open, but if you do want to close it, you can do. And then you've got different visors as well. So there's even a visor for the back. So if you wanted to open the rear or if you wanted to shut the rear because you had a smaller child in, you can do that no problem whatsoever. It's also got the wireless charger, which I think I mentioned at the start, which is a nice little feature. So that pops up down there. If someone's already using that, you've got USBs, but there's just plenty of space for everything, basically, anything you would want. Great family car. It does have off-road capabilities if you want it to. So you've got several different modes down on there. So if you were going to take it to fairly rural places, farms, anything like that, you can do it no problem whatsoever. But they're just a very good looking seven seat with plenty of spec on them this one's at a good price as well with a low mileage so if you are interested we have sold a couple recently very quickly so please act fast my name paddy the number's below so feel free to give me a call and i look forward to speaking to you